Alright, we're in the uh, driver's briefing. So, I forgot to uh, pause or uh, boot up a little bit earlier, but we are currently just waiting for driver's briefing. Once that's over, we'll see if the servers come up, because currently we're disconnected. Kuno's servers are down. Therefore, they stay down um, too much longer. We won't be able to race tonight because qualifying right. takes 30 minutes. Yeah, the race is take an hour. Yeah. So right, let's get everybody it's already 9 o'clock Eastern. Single, Single file, no pushing. I usually, we Pushing. usually don't get done until like 10.30, so pushing it back too much further, it's you know almost midnight for the East Coast. As well try and find something to laugh about. So um, it'll suck for them. If they have to stay up too late, it'll suck for everybody if we have to postpone or something. Because we're supposed to be off next week, so um, I'm assuming what they'll do is if we don't race, and frustrating, so they'll uh, like Tyler's example. If you get drunk, we won't race better. if we don't race tonight. No, then it's not frustrating. We'll still go on with the um, and look at Fourth of July um, off week racing on the new American tracks, which is probably why the uh, stuff is all fucked up. Yeah. Yeah, uh, next week for 4th of July, because it's in the middle of the week, um, we won't be racing. Well, we won't be racing. We won't be racing the main stuff. They've got some uh, other events going on next week for uh, the people that will be around. So I want to say it's Monday and Tuesday. It's a driver swap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually had um, friends over... Uh, one of them being my Coast Guard buddy that's been up in the north since uh, COVID started. And uh, he just got his two years done up there and got transferred. And he got transferred down my area. So it's the first time we've had a chance to actually hang out with them since since all that started. Well, I think he came down once. But uh, yeah, we were hopefully going to be done before uh, the race started. But it didn't work out that way and then i told everybody i was like hey i'm not gonna be racing tonight because people are still over and then like literally 10 minutes after uh 10 minutes like 8 10 my time so 9 10 eastern they were gone i was like man i could have just skipped qualifying and raced <laughs> yeah it was fun we played this board game that um you you play as like uh dukes and marquis in like a kingdom and you gotta try to keep the kingdom together but you're also going after your own objectives so you're trying to be greedy but also help the kingdom it's, it's fucking hilarious and everything you do in the game is permanent so the game can only literally be played once because you write on every single card or there's stickers that have to be placed so once the stickers are down and you sign the decree it's it's done you can't you can't pick it back up again so and it's like multiple parts, so like every every um, they call it a game. So like when the king dies or he he decides to step down, the game is technically over. And then you play another session, and you play as the same family, but basically it's like years down the road. I mean, yeah, I guess you could use the erasable marker, but it's supposed to be done with like ink pen and stuff. Um, so like we'll we'll pick it up. I think they're supposed to come over tomorrow. We're gonna play another round. So we'll be like um, descendants of the people that we first played in the same family. So anything that we've done before in the in the realm will still be in effect. Plus we'll make more good or bad changes depending on that. So it's it's quite a bit of fun. But I was hoping to race because I love I love Daytona, and uh, I was very upset to miss that one. By, by see what they're talking reiterating about. Reiterating something we feel very passionate about. Good luck. Yeah, if we get to race tonight, what we're after here with the league, yeah, and that's to try and create, and create some, some of, of the cleanest and most fair racing, racing that we can by promoting again, again clean, clean and safe racing on various amount of tracks with a various amount of drivers. Uh, we encourage giving, giving respect and. Ah, uh, sorry, lost my place. 
We know, we know you may have many battles ahead, but we encourage you to give yourself and your fellow drivers respect because at the end of the day, that makes for better racing for both you and yourself. Uh, quick run over the qualifying format. If we don't end up racing, I'm probably going to go into two yeah. 15 minute sessions. Jump on Unite uh, or maybe Hot Wheels on the Switch. Silver and play for drivers a bit. will be going out. That way we still get the stream. Gold drivers will be going out second. So I'll be in the second so set. That means that 15 minute mark comes. Any silver drivers that are on a hot That's kind of cool. We get to watch it. as if a gold not, driver get to watch the rest of the side qualifying. Of the road and return to garage. Gold drivers, you can head out at that 15 minute mark. If you want to line up at the end of the pit lane, we encourage you not to park inside of each other, but, uh, yeah. Uh, on to the race itself. Well, I want to make my guy uh, Encouraging smaller. safety towards the last one incidents, especially turn one. Uh, cops itself is very dangerous. Uh, at a standpoint, even when you're free air, turn one is going to be very hectic. A lot of cars around you. Please be prepared to break, even though you are under speed for... The pace you would be taking, yeah, cops that's normally. fair. Um, be prepared for people to take a different line. This Sunday is Fourth uh, of July, isn't it? Be sure to give racing room. Again, this track oh, it's is the third, very, but yeah, technically, it's, yeah, it's not tight. There is a lot of room to go beside the car, but a lot of the yeah, I don't know what do we're doing. Favor that and My wife actually works. Actually, I'm not going to be doing anything. I'll be so streaming be something on the line. More likely to take. Give a little bit of room because uh, the wife works this weekend and definitely will be in that back throughout the race. I'll go have fun making dinner. Uh, should an incident occur ahead of you, your first instinct should always be to hit the brakes. Don't necessarily try to drive full speed around somebody. That will more than likely cause both of you and... Yeah, she's working night shifts now, so... Uh, Slow up. Make a safe decision. She's working this weekend, which, whatever. It's, it's what you deal with when working uh, with... If you've come off the track, this make sure you make a... You have to work a lot of holidays. ...to join carefully. Be cautious of those around you and other drivers who are driving quickly. Oxymoron uh, there. Try to join away from the racing line, or if you are driving towards the track, try to drive parallel or in the same direction as the track to make it easier to rejoin. Two track, track specific issues. Um, the, pit, the pit street here is kind of long. Oh, it fun at making continue. dinner. Love it. Uh, be yeah, cautious sure. as to your breaking point and to others ahead of you who are heading into the pits that may miss their breaking points. Uh, you will get caught up very shortly at that pit line, so that's something to be cautious of. Uh, over the course of the race, uh, blue flags, something we didn't really go over last week. Uh, coming up on a back marker driver or a blue flag driver, we don't, we don't necessarily, necessarily run the full GT3 style rules or F1 style, style rules. It's a little bit of a mix of the both. So if your pace is close, you know, you can stay ahead of the driver. You're, you're driving. If the car behind you goes to make a overtake on you, please don't defend aggressively. They do have the right to the track. You are a blue flag. In terms of when you would have to give up position, so to speak, we allow up to one lap to give up, give up the position. position. If you're, you're still there, there holding a consistent blue flag, you must, you must, you must, you must concede, concede the position. Sounds good, yeah. If I'm if I'm not streaming when y'all get back, uh, uh, little hope you guys have a safe 4th of July. If, 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 if you guys racing, do come back on streaming, uh, yeah, it'll be whatever. We'll, we'll so say goodbyes then. Black by the time this race is up. Please ensure you either have some form of way to turn on your lights mapped or have your lights set to auto because you will get the big fat meatball flag and that will cost you your race. Uh, we'll get some water real quick. Drive. Yep, seen a bit. Um, formation lap. Drivers at the back. Uh, you're kind of going to have to sprint to catch yourselves back up when we go into dual file just because of the nature of the tail end of the track, uh, so please be prepared, but also cautious. And end of the race, we ask uh, any podium drivers from the gold and the silver series to uh, be prepared for an interview. If you don't want to be interviewed, uh, there'll be a way to reach out to one of the broadcasters. Um, in terms of the race tonight, I think Doug went over it, but a quick reiteration. We're going to hold off in hopes that the servers come back alive till about 9.30. And if we don't have any avail then, we'll get some more information from the admins, but it'll be a post. Hey, we caught it. Why's my hair and, uh, Any questions on that or anything that someone would like to add?
Let's bring up Darren. Oh, Hold on. Uh, what is a meatball flag? So, so that, that is, is the black, black flag, flag with the orange, orange circle in the middle. We just, we just refer to it as a meatball. Kind of looks like a meatball. <laughs> similar, similar to the damage flag. flag. The black flag with an orange circle is the meatball flag. Box flag. Okay. I was. I just wasn't sure what you were referring to as a meatball flag. I knew it figured with something. Yeah. Uh, probably not that kosher. Thank <laughs> you. It's all good. No problem. No problem. I love it. Elijah, what can we do for you? Uh. uh just to make sure, did you mean like 9.30, what time zone? What time I apologize. Zone? We are going to wait till 9.30 Eastern time or essentially 20 minutes from now. Got it. Got it. I did see questions? some comments about shortening qualifying. I don't think I, that that's fair to make last minute adjustments to people's overall scheme for tonight. So um, we're just going to keep everything the same. It's going to be, if we start at 9.30 sharp, we're only going to be about 15 minutes behind schedule. So for those that are on the East Coast, the race usually ends around like 11 o'clock. It'll only be 11.15 by the end of everything. So we should be pretty, pretty fine. I think the only thing we would do different is once we have a guaranteed everybody in the server, we would skip the practice. Yeah, that's a 100% certainty. Any other questions? Jao? Or Yao, I apologize. Hello? Hello? Right, so since this is going to be a night race, but it's starting at dusk, does yes. that mean we have our lights off at the beginning, but by the, like, sometime in the middle, we'll turn them on? Yeah, or if you're manual, you can always leave them on throughout the race. That's totally up to you. But uh, at about the mid, it, I think it's just after the pit window, it'll start to give you a notification to turn your lights on. Oh, okay, thank you so much. The game will notify you. It'll say turn your lights on. Or yeah, we don't worry about lights. We just got it set to auto. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I'll say like lights on and three laps or less, or you get the idea. Also, if you know how to use the MFD, you can flip them during that, during the race in the MFD menu. Just keep it automatic for those who don't want to worry about it. Um, where is it? Oh, assist. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's just a point, it's just a point if somebody forgets it and they start freaking out, there's a way to do it. Good point. Immersion for the win, stay here. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know about the the other three up here, but I'll hang out in here for the next 20 minutes until this comes comes through. While we have you all here, uh, now's a good time to kind of plug some extra stuff, which I'm sure you guys are all just foaming at the mouth to hear. Uh, Definitely. I did make an announcement this afternoon, which is pretty exciting. Uh, initially, we are going to be doing a two uh, DLC, like two copies of the American DLC giveaway, but because of the enormous generosity of uh, Jess Osborne, Jacob Wolfman, and D. Dehi Yoon, uh, we will be supporting 10, ten copies of the ten DLC, copies of the DLC they're giving away this week. Uh, which is pretty freaking awesome. In my That's opinion. like 15 uh, bucks a pop, so too. So we're going to be doing like a giveaway bucks. stream on Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern. Fuck, I got that and, and Pokemon uh, Unite uh, we'll be doing some, draft uh, stream. Uh, events at the given tracks so everyone can kind of get acclimated together. Uh, the 10 copies will be given away with two different formats. Format one is the format that they, he initially laid out, which is uh, basically if you race a GT3 team series event, you, you get, get three tickets. Three tickets, okay. And if you are for each race, staff, like if you're a commentator or a steward, you get an additional ticket. Okay, so that's four. I was thinking they got like two or three uh, extra. That's not bad. We use a random number generator to select two wins. So I mean, pretty cool. I'll get uh, three, six. I'll get nine tickets. So if I, I was a caster, I'd get twelve. Um, That's not terrible. The other five only on a couple. DLC will be given away based on who signs up for these special events, and those special eh. events are the two driver swap events going on next week, and then the one endurance race on the following Saturday, which is a four hours at Coda. So. Um, I want to sign up for the endurance the chat, but there, get signed up. Uh, I'm super excited for that content. I think that the new tracks and uh, the randomly assigned teams based on SRA rating is going to create a lot of really competitive racing, and it's going to be 
a great opportunity for our league to kind of further its engagement with other people in the community that you would otherwise not really talk to. So making new friends and racing together as a community, which I think is going to be freaking awesome. That changed my... Uh... Does anyone have any questions pertaining to that stuff? Because now's the perfect time. I mean, we're just kind of no, dilly-dallying for 15 bit. minutes here. A Division One member. Yeah, hey, I was just... Uh, uh, I was, I was just creeping. I was going to see what you guys were going to do tonight for the uh, servers being down and stuff like that. But actually, since you were talking about the giveaway, uh, first of all, that's awesome that you guys are doing that. I've not been in a community that does that. That's pretty sweet. Um, and then second of all, I'm 100% buying the DLC tomorrow. So can I just like remove myself from uh, being entered into the, uh, the giveaway, as awesome as it is? We thought about that, and honestly, I think the best solution is that um, just to keep everything copacetic, we're going to just keep all the entries in. If you, because I imagine there's going to be several people in the community that want to buy their own DLC. If your name comes up in the winnings and I say, hey, James, you want a copy of the code of DLC, you can either tell me. Yeah or nay. Um, yeah, just say yeah you know, or nay on it. You have a week to, to claim it because I extended it from 24 hours to a week because people aren't going to be on vacation. So okay, you, okay. You cool. tell me, hey, that's I pretty, that's pretty dope. I like that. I also like the fact that ACC is putting out the North American um, pack right oh, before fantastic. fourth of july oh, cool. weekend like that's yep we're not uh the lottery smart. Here, so we can bend the rules a little bit so that yeah it's nice use, use common sense right but yeah. uh yeah yeah i appreciate you uh coming out and uh yeah it's good stuff cool cool thanks, thanks. mcginnis was that four hours uh, uh okay. for the driver swap series are we going to be told who we're partnering with, or do we just reference the SRA rating sheet? Oh, no, we're going to be telling everybody who's paired up with who. And then uh, okay. when you sign up, you're asked to pick a series of cars that you're comfortable driving. That way, um, you guys can actually have a better chance of finding a car that you enjoy in common. Um, but ultimately, we're doing this so that... Uh, the best get paired up with the slowest and then everyone kind of filters in in between those and i think it's going to lend itself to in theory a really good average across the board. oh wait that's not for this so series for cool. trunk series Oops. and there is a race to the bottom matt lehman has signed up so <laughs> someone's gonna get paired up with matt lehman it's ridiculous so, so yes yeah, right. So that being said, Kyle, we will be letting everyone know uh, who's paired up with who formally uh, days before uh, the event takes place, which just emphasizes if you're interested, please sign up in advance. That gives us as an admin team more time to adequately uh, Still showing up down. And do the logistics behind it. It's been almost two hours. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to put you. this little uh, tidbit in there. Okay, we're not going to just keep oh, fucking hand in the net. Oh, there you go. Yeah. yeah, quick question. Aren't we on our fourth race of the season? Race four. Yes. So if for, it's for the, the DLC giveaway, uh, so if we already missed one, we are not, uh, uh, we're, we're not, we don't have our three entries for every valid race from this season, right? No, you get three entries per race you attend. So if you attended weeks one, two, oh, okay. and four, you would get three entries each, so you have 12 entries. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like 19 I, I, entries and stuff like that. Oh, okay, yeah, uh, never mind. I, it's my, 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 yeah, my, my English. I, I read that wrong. I, I read it's like, you, you, you need to have... Race, race three, three time, time. So, you so you have three entries. Well, no, you, you need to race Never mind. once in the most recent four weeks, so that just encourages people to be active in the community. Oh, okay, okay, good. That's all. Good. Never mind. Thank you. For, for someone's name who is literally spelled math, you'd think he'd understand math better. My good. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Savage. Oh, he wants to come back up and speak. <laughs> Let's let him yeah. Yeah. before uh, doing Carlos it, it, English is not my, my first language, so that, that's my defense. Bye. Well played. Well played. Very nice. That's Carlos, funny. what's up, buddy? Uh, I just wanted to add to the... You said that 
you, we were supposed to choose multiple cars we're comfortable with when we signed up. I didn't. Yeah, uh, well, when you I, it, it says like I don't choose, remember seeing that. Cars. Oh, oh uh, I, uh, you know, Carlos. I think I missed a few wanna, words. If you want to go back and re-register, you can. We can just delete multiple entries. That's okay. Okay, so I'll just add 15 entries, one per car, right? I will kill you. <laughs> My lord. <laughs> I mean, um, uh, no, Carlos, that's not the right response. Uh, please. You guys, you guys can't it. just you know, go from there, you know? Tyler will flood your DMs with foot pics. I think I, think I might just do like every George. version of every car. I don't know how cases are in here. Uh, again, if you want to do that, and first team main up bolstering all the different uh, signups, and then ultimately uh, I get to decide which car you go in, I'm just going to pick the worst one as a meme. No. I so, like it. All right. Oh, uh, there's case. I'll put you in the Rex or something, Mimi, like that. So. Uh, all right, buddy. Well, thanks for your contribution. Ten more minutes. Yes, yes, yes. We'll see what happens here. Oh, oh. There, we there we go. All right. Any other questions? We're encroaching the. Uh, we're under ten minutes now, and it's not looking promising. And this session is called praying session. Are you guys praying hard enough? I'm going to very quickly took the question away. Yeah, people are making crop circles. Um, We're seeing Akumbaya. Exactly, weird, weird rain chants. Uh, I might have, I might have stepped away when you said it, but it, what, what's the uh, plan if we don't race tonight? Does this race just not happen, or? We postpone this race to next week, next Wednesday. Um, I understand that's difficult given it's a holiday week. Some people might be traveling, but that's the best option we have okay. is to keep it consistent with y'all's Wednesday schedule. Fair enough. Um, yep. And then ultimately, uh, you guys don't have a, a, bye week. a week off, so to speak. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah, and we'll... Uh, post an announcement with all the details again so okay. that no that, one misses it who wasn't here tonight. That's Darren? absolutely fine. Uh, yeah, how you doing guys? As Dehi can probably attest, uh, I'm, I'm a 50 plus dude. Because computer, wife works so. next week, so we're good. Um, is there any communication between our league or the servers that we use and, and Kunos directly? Like, is there any announcements at all whatsoever that the servers are going to be done? Darren Robichon is, is 50 plus. That's awesome. With, with we we'll love seeing the older we the older software that here. tells us whether or not the servers are down or not, but there is no indication from Kunos whether there's like an estimated time to come back or anything like that. So we're basically flying in the dark here um, with the confirmation that servers are down, but no indication as to when they're coming back. Yeah, I was just kind of curious if, if Kunos... Rag and Rollo. Eh, we'll throw it in there. What the fuck? I don't really care for Rag and Rollo. Listen, guys, we got some issues, and uh, yeah, maybe throw out an apology or something, but... No, that's Nothing. great. Thank, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah no problem. I wish, I wish that was the case. Well, with it looking unlikely... Yeah, I think like looking we might, uh, we might, might bust out the switch. Up, you know, their, so... Like, GLCs and stuff, and this this is my, uh, peak, lovely... There might be servers Pikachu branded controller. Bad thing is my left joystick we had, uh, is having zero, stick drift, so if I'm holding it all zero, the way to like the right, races in one season, it acts like I'm not so moving or I'm moving to the random. left. Um, and so far, I haven't found really any remedies line, with Switch controllers yeah, like I did with the yeah, Xbox it's controllers it's on fixing them. The confines, so you know, unfortunately. we've been playing with the uh, Joy Cons uh, the plugged into the little. Uh, the little yeah, controller thingy. Like more, uh, I don't like that. Boys in there, I don't you know? like that uh, format very well, uh, but in place it'll allow me to keep playing. So we might go. DLC we might go jump up to that. Event. Thank you. These servers Kyle. don't pop uh, up here in another five minutes. We will not be Still shows disconnected. In anticipation of giving away free copies of the American DLC on Saturday. So I'll take the rock and roll. We change the event tomorrow um, to a GT4 inspired event. So it should be pretty cool. Curtis Lee is hosting that. Is that one of the events they were talking about? Oh, yeah. With his GT4, GT4 at Wutan. Dustin, I saw you pop up a couple times. If anything, just come up on stage so we can chat. That's more like it. Yeah, get up, get <laughs> he's, get like, he's like holding his hand up. No, I'm, I'm fighting myself to even ask it. At least, I don't know if it's worth it. So, 
I'm just, I'm just curious, curious is does it, it make any sense to do a poll, do a poll and like see what people will think of either postponing it for later this week or just just moving it to next week like you said over the fourth and like, and like if you hit like a 90 percent rate on either choice or actually if you don't if like, if like for example you wanted to do it this week and you only hit 80 percent but you required 90 percent it would still stay next week or something like that i was thinking about that um so to that effect uh, i was thinking about a couple options option one is we wait to push it to 10 o'clock but uh that's again getting super late. Uh, it puts it like uh, option two is to postpone it to a different day like this 11:30. week, uh, which I know is tough for many. But again, I'm willing to entertain that. And option three is to just postpone it to, to next week. So, uh, like, well, me, we honestly, have 70 people in attendance. Uh, Dehi, can you mock up a poll real quick um, with those three options? Option one is to postpone it to 10. There we go. I like option that. Option two is to postpone it to a different day of the week. Uh, can they do polls in this? I'm at the I don't know. I'm gonna be out of town Thursday and Friday. Tyler's out of town, so we're yeah, yeah. fumes right now, you know. Yeah, yeah. I guess that's, that, what, that's what's. It's, it's my person. It's my personal schedule. schedule. It's getting in my way of my opinion. That's why I was hesitant to ask it. But yeah, like I'm gonna be gone this Friday after noon, and then I'll be gone for two weeks. So I'm gonna. In fact, I was like planning to hopefully only miss one race of this season, yeah, but now I'm gonna miss two. two. Yeah. No, I totally. So, like, I was, I'm just. Curious, curious on what you guys' thoughts are on that, but I don't, but want, I don't want to push anything, action. obviously. Yeah, I mean, we have 70 plus people here, so if we could get the race in tonight, that'd be great. It's just, I would hate for having people wait around till 10 o'clock to have yeah. nothing for no, for no reason, yeah. even, even then, you know? Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, I appreciate your opinion. So, Dehi, uh, you mind working on that to see what people All right, no more swearing for trying to see this guy. I should talk on the city. Yeah, yeah, at, the same, at the same time, it's not guaranteed it's going to come back at 10. Correct. So that's one, another another thing to keep in mind. Correct. What's up, Dexter? Sorry, Sorry um, I know the previous person was sort of mentioning schedules and stuff and running a poll. Um, I, I, this is just another suggestion. You could also run a poll for those who are here right now if they maybe if people would prefer to try to run the race tonight. Um, I'm fine either way, but it's just a thought. Yeah, that's going to be one of the options is to maintain yeah, so tonight as an option as tonight, as um, I can tell you this weekend or that next anything Wednesday. past 10 o'clock is going to be a no from the admin standpoint. That's going to be too too far delayed. Yeah, because 10... So be yeah, 10, 10, it, so. 10 p.m. start, uh, yeah, then you got 30 minutes that. of uh, there is a poll qualifying, information now, and then so like please go a bunch of other shit. And uh, make your votes, please. That he just pinged all of you. I just I just like I like to postpone the next week, like just fucking run it next week then. Looks like it's gonna be next. Looks week. like next week is gonna run. <laughs> I love this engagement. We need to do this more often. <laughs> I wish you guys Watching could see the um. Giving me straight. Uh, we could. Levels. We could. It's interesting uh, that more people would rather wait out tonight than race later this week. But I mean that's. Everybody else a lot of people dedicate protein. one night a week for their racing, so I get it. Uh, Mr. Sadat, how can we help you? Uh, just out of curiosity, is the whole admin staff uh, East Coast time? Uh, that's a good I question. Peter is Peter, West Coast, Peter's West Coast. Right? Yeah, he lives in Oregon. Chris is also West Coast, right? Yes, yeah, Stefik uh, lives in Vancouver. So, uh, Ooh, Vancouver. That's nice. That's, that's where um, Big Chief but yeah, around that. He's the one of those West Coasties. Like everyone's off. I was like, oh, maybe the whole team is like East Coast time. Yeah, Dehi and I are on the East Coast. Tyler's on the East Coast. Uh, I'm on the East Coast. Yeah. So we do have Matt Schwartz. So he dances between Missouri and Las Vegas. So uh, I might be quoting that wrong. But uh, yeah, he's all over the place. But yeah, I mean, we have a pretty good coverage, but the most hands on admins in terms of like logistics are all East Coast people. But um, I would, again, I'll stay up until 1 o'clock to host a race for you guys. It's more or less being fair to all the you all as attendees. I love, you know? I love that dedication. Yeah. I'll stay up until 1 a.m. Fuck yeah. 51 next week. 51 next week. Yeah, it seems pretty clear. Um, okay. And logistically, it just is the most logical way. So That makes sense. Personally, Personally I'm fine with losing a Friday week. Uh, actually, kind of a different question. What is the um, fan favorite for like favorite track of the new uh, EOC? Like, what are you guys hoping for? 
I'm just curious. Random, random question. I have heard I from many love of Watkins Glen. Watkins Glen, is Watkins Glen is so fucking yeah, good. Yeah, Watkins is my personal yeah. excitement right there. People like Coda, I mean, but it's it's uh because of the Formula One aspect. But I think Watkins Glen, being from other racing games over the past few decades, uh, have been always supported. So it's been exciting. Plus, it just came out for iRacing too. So I think there's just a lot of hype around it. They were with Gran Turismo. Wait, Watkins yeah. Glen wasn't even an iRacing until just now. It looks Holy it looks fuck! Like Forge has had it good. Yeah, that might have been what it was instead of iRacing. It was on. Uh, or Gran Turismo. Okay. Came out on I was gonna say, like fuck, Forza had the yeah, yeah. marketplace on that. It's a, it, this is also gonna be kind of an off topic, just to burn time. But during off season, is there any plans on like racing we'll do? Like, can, is it possible oh, yes. to do any other like games and stuff like that, or is this solely gonna be just an ACC server? I was just curious. Yeah, so hmm. that's a good question. Always be strictly an ACC league uh, in terms of a uh, officially Point sanctioned space. event. Yeah. Exactly. But that being said, uh, we're, our community is going I know that. that. I want the um, PC. And I can tell you that there's like little subgroups already forming. Like, uh, there's a Dirt Rally 2.0 uh, group that's already meeting pretty regularly. Um, there's people that do iRacing on the side. Uh, and then there's people that actually. Big Destiny group. Yeah, there's a Destiny 2 group, so I mean, Damn. we Destiny as an admin two. team wanted to really polish the Discord up uh, and keep as many channels, uh, keep it as few channels as possible to just assist on the cleanliness of everything, but that being said, um, I mean, now that we've moved a lot of our information to our website, it's going to really afford us the ability to offer more I really like Watkins and Coda, like I'm, I'm excited to see so, both of those. Um, let us know what you guys want. Uh, and then eventually ACC2 will come out and uh, we'll just move over to that new platform. But uh, yeah, great question. I love I it. Love engagement. Love it. Mr. Gould. Uh, this GT4 chat or uh, race that I'm hearing tell of, where's the sign up for that? Uh, there won't be a sign up because it's just an exhibition event. But if you go to the very top of our Discord on the top left, there's. I'm going to go ahead and start booting up the. Uh... That, there should be. Um, some switch. Sign. No, I think he does have a, a sign up. What am I talking about? Um, so I think we'll just play a little bit on that for. Can I go to that? No, I don't think this is coming up. League. Again, I was just talking about all the different elements of our league. Uh, okay. Where are the exhibition events? Where did they move to? I'll switch over uh, right here there. to Under it real general, quick. The second tab down is exhibition signups. So you don't have to sign up necessarily, but you can mark your attendance. Yeah. And there's Perfect. one right there, GT4 Night, Olden Park, and Liberty. Perfect. Sweet, sweet. Thanks. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, the poll has overwhelmingly said we're going to be going to next week. So that's what's going to happen. Um, I'm willing to hang out for a little while until... Uh, but it's not looking very promising. No, so it looks like we're fucked I think on it's that. Safe to say that if you want to hop off right now, um, that now the question is, do we play the instance that we're going to be doing? So Mario Rabbit. Uh, thank you for your patience and sorry Hot that we weren't able to do anything for you this week. But uh, do we do a little unite? I think yeah, we do a little We're going to be postponing really this to next play. week, and we will make the necessary adjustments on our end to reflect so in the uh, Discord. But uh, yeah, show up again same time next week, and we'll facilitate another race for you guys. And before everybody goes, I just want to say I appreciate everybody showing up to the driver briefing, even though it didn't look like we were going to race tonight. I appreciate the commitment. I mean, it's even it's it's only just a video game, but you're, it shows the fact that everyone takes this as the commitment that it is, and yeah, we really appreciate that. All right. It's only a video game. I think what you might say was a simulated racing title. Um, there you go. Unite. That's, that's why Doug league. takes the big role and gets Pokemon. paid the big bucks because he knows how to use the big words. Um, this is my future. This is my investment. All my, all my retirement, retirement money is going into this. Achievement hunting. Uh, I think so. We'll change the time to game. Actually, we still got some questions. Pokemon. Unite. Go ahead and change that all over. Never mind. I apologize get everyone here. in the community for what Tyler's saying in general. Daddy's saying ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord. Look at, Look all, at all that fish. fish. Oh, this man. <laughs> I don't know how he works. 
god. Oh my god. All right. What's up, Lucas? Oh, uh, wait a minute. I, I who can, can I talk to? You? I was told that we could potentially do uh, team, team channels, channels like for, like for the the, the, the voice chats, chats with teammates. Just DM me. Okay. Okay. For for directive going forward, um, Discord does have the text chat for voice channels now. So going forward, I'd like teams to get a voice channel so that they can talk to one another and subsequently. Not create a second uh, text channel for Good, them. I'm glad they that it didn't change. That's input. awesome. Good, good uh, idea. Okay. So, so, so we'll, uh, sharing, though? I don't think so. I think there is a. Um, Pokemon, so Unite. So, the team channels have only the admin um, access, so that it can be as private as possible. But the voice channels have to have commentary access. So, I'll let you know on that. No, but what I'm saying is that when you click on a voice channel, there's an actual text channel built into it now. Do that. That's a new function of Discord. All right, yeah, we'll go ahead and start booting this up while we're listening to these guys. Channels, then they will also have access to that. We'll play for half an hour or so. So it will be less private. I don't yeah, know but I, I, that's something we can talk about online, but I don't think that everyone's going to uh, be negligent about that. So, But okay. that being said... Um, yeah, that just helps us with overhead in terms of channel maintenance. For sure. Exciting stuff for the admin team that we have to worry about. Alright, all right. I'll, uh, I'll DM Day he done. That's perfect. Thank you, Lucas. Thank you. <clears throat> you got something else, Darren, or can I move you back down to the audience? No, that was, uh, I'm just curious about what you guys talk about, uh, the hypothetical situation that you do land on the podium and you want to have, uh, post-race interviews. How do, how do you contact the guy that you want to interview and, and how does he get involved in that conversation? As, again, day he knows, I am not very computer savvy, so... No if you just stay connected to any other voice channels on this... Oh, channel, it's also after 7, so the reset happens. Yeah, so the best course of action is, like, you finish your daily, race, so it looks like go to general days. chat so that your name is there and readily, like, easily... Uh, Available for the commentators. Right, to we're find. just gonna do this because it drives me nuts to have all the these. Um, that scrambling through the list of people trying to find my my person is difficult. Done. So if you just plop down in general after the race. Uh, Ooh, we get a Garchomp that. one. That's okay, kind of so cool. If you're online here, you can find me. So same Bingo. thing. Okay, thank you very so much. So it's literally the same thing, except the exchange goes for Garchomp. Ooh, Trevenant gear. That's pretty worth. Yep, well, I'm going to call it. It is 9.37. Nice. We are postponing this race. Um, sorry, but uh, we'll be moving it to next Wednesday, same time as usual. And uh, I really appreciate y'all's patience and further engagement. Well, let's, you got uh, another. let's get some awesome participation in our special events, uh, especially we get a GT3. Week uh, practice over the weekend. Excuse me, not GT3. I'm going to have to run ATC, some laps for the Audi and the BMW this weekend then. But we'll get some laps in on both. All right, everybody, enjoy the rest of your evening. All and, right, we're going to uh, dip out of the uh, Discord there. Take it easy. Bye. Take it easy. Huh. That sucks. For a little bit. But, you know, it happens. We're going to step away for a second, and then I'll be back.
Alright, so let's move this stuff out of the way. I probably should have done this while I was muted. I didn't think about that. I just got up to go get a drink and talk to the wife for a second because I saw her walk by. We're going to unplug all the stuff on the wheel. I've got a little doohickeys where I keep the uh, cords from grabbing and being loose whenever I'm playing. So we just uh, move all the cords. Throw the wheel back over to the side here. Unplug the bad boy. And then we've got the pedals to move back. And I've got a little rug that I use to keep the uh, pedals from sliding while playing, so we shove those back out of the way too. And my right shoes. Oh fuck! Pulling my headset off. All right. Slippers back on. Change it on my monitor. All right, we're gonna mute one more time. We're gonna go put this chair back, back in a second. gonna play some Greninja and we're gonna work on these achievements this this one's not so much trainer achievements not what we're worried about we're working about the po <gasps> Pokemon achievements so almost every Pokemon has an achievement scale three levels you got the bronze is beginner and then you got expert is silver and the master is the gold and you have to do certain things with their attacks to uh, increase it like you know 30 giga drains in a battle um we're working on kill three people with surf in a battle kill three people in a single game uh in a single game kill three people with surf currently 10 times but i think the last stage is 20 so that's what we're kind of so we're gonna play Greninja. We're gonna go into the um, standard map. Yep, we're just gonna play standard and uh, play for I don't know. Play it's eight, eight quarter to nine, so maybe nine thirty, like forty five more minutes. This is about when we would end stream anyway, from what it's been. I'm gonna try to quickly call the um, uh, center if these last two people ready up. It's not looking promising. <sighs> then after we're done, we're gonna go play a little. Uh... I don't know. After this, we're done for the night, but we're gonna watch a little. Um, TV with the wife. Hang out a little bit before uh, bed. And get up and do this shit tomorrow. We might, we might, sh I might try to do an afternoon stream with some of the uh, EU boys. Actually, no, because uh, RLCS is on. So they're all going to be focused on watching the game, and all you're going to hear is them talking about um, Rocket League, and you won't be able to see what's going on. So never mind. We'll do, we'll do a, we'll do a stream next week. Do some golf with friends or something. Oh, come on, really? Alright, well, I didn't have a backup plan. Oh, fuck you, Mr. Uh, Hoopa. Go somewhere else. Hoopa is not a jungler. Goal getter, Hoopa jungle. Yeah, I know, that's what I thought too. 
I hate to say it, I called it after the hoop, and the hoop is not a jungler, so I'm going for the jungle. I'll take uh, substitute and sl slide through. Slide through this first little wall. Um, he doesn't... Hoopa doesn't have a thing to go through a wall, and neither does the Decidueye, so they're going to have to run around the wall to where I'm at. Look, all I'm worried about is leveling up and killing three people on the other team. So, like... Yeah, you can head to the central area. It doesn't matter. I'm going to beat you there. And you're also going to fuck your whole team, because you're not, like... You're not a jungling character. You're a support. Get in, get in the lane and do your job. That's literally all you do, Hoopa. You throw down your little Hoopa rings and teleport people back and forth. That's all you do. Don't try to do the job of the jungler. You don't do. You're not a damage dealer. So we're gonna hit ZR. We're gonna take this and teleport right through here. Yep, triple jungle. Love it. Absolutely love it. We're all just gonna sit here too. I love it. I'll take that bonus. Thank you. Triple jungle, babe. Decidui, Hoopa, and me as Greninja. I, I'm just working on challenges, so if I get my challenges, I don't give a shit about the rest. It's not ranked. Eight fifty Bs. My teammates are all dead. Good, great. Hoopa and the the situation are still fighting over the uh, jungle. Good to see. They haven't changed their minds on that yet. Love to see that the Hoopa is also not helping with um, laning. He's like 100% focused on being in the jungle. We take smoke screen. We really wish this glitch with the um, not being able to see the fucking names on this shit would be nice. This Decidueye is really coming all the way from the fucking top lane, or the, the way at the bottom of the lane, to try to get all this. Oh my lord. This game's full of fucking special people. I don't even get to seven. Typically, you want to be level 9 by the 7 minute mark, but I'm not even going to get to 7. Oh, I did get 7. Let's go. Still doing better than their um, Decidueye, I guess. Almost to eight. There's one kill. There we go, we got all of that. So we got 30, 33, that's 63 plus. Um, so we got 98. 
on an on a total of eighty. Well, it was already no, actually, it was it sixty at something already? Is it like sixty some sixty five? I think or something. So we got quite a bit of over donk. It was it was not full. We did win the Rotom top, so that's good as well. Their, their whole team is up on top lane, so there's not really a whole much, a whole bunch for me to do. I can see that the Hoopa is also not using Hoopa Hole. He's using um, Trick and uh, Shadow Ball. So that's that's nice. Not getting away from me, bud. I doubt I'll be able to dunk here. Wow. I might see if I go for it. No, they're already here. What the fuck would I go up there for? I can't stop this guy from scoring because I ran off from the, uh, the choke. This match, this match makes no fucking sense. Triple jungle and still fucking winning. Like, uh, I don't, I don't get it. Top lane's now getting pushed all the way in. That's good to know. Ah, uh, I just got totally whomped there. No, why are we surrendering? Like, we're still fucking winning. And even if we're not winning, we're still close. Like, I don't, I don't know. No, no fucking idea here. And all that fighting over the fucking jungle, now nobody's getting jungle. Oh, that goal's gone. I can't stop the Machamp. He's already, like, too far gone. Later, bitch. I'm dead. That's fine. It's close. They better f kill that Dragonite. Come on, kill the Dragonite! Oh my lord. With four of them there, it should not have been that hard. Yeah, they're just gonna stand. I just want to make sure I hit 13 before the uh, big fight here. The final Zimmeril coming in? I don't want to start this. And... Oh, they're not coming at it. There we go. All teams, they're just going to burn it. Oh lord! No, I won't. I won't vote. Yes, Th they caused this shit on their own. Like you're letting the Azumarill and Dragonite or whatever the fuck it was push you off the base, 
right at the road on at the, at the Zapdos instead of just fucking going to the objective. And then after that, you guys die during that. Like, if you'd been at the objective where you should have been, all would have been fine. But nah, you've you've got to play this game like you're the only one on the fucking map. Did that from the start. How is he doing those hits from backwards like that? Like, look, our whole team's fucking dead again. Nine kills by the uh, Decidueye. Doesn't really fucking matter, because he didn't do anything useful other than get some random kills. How is this Machamp hitting anything? He's like constantly facing this way when he should be this way. I don't I don't get it. And he's still getting like credit for attack the attack. Makes no sense. Look at that, we were winning until till right there at the end. Top dog. Top moron. I'm just gonna hit block on all these guys. It doesn't matter. I won't ever see him again, but for now it makes me feel good that maybe I won't have to see them again. I think that's mind-blowing how stupid they were. Did we make any progress on that? I want to say no. I don't know. We were at five. We're at six now, so we did get three. Our goal was three kills with Surf. We got three. So, we need to do that four more games, and then we'll have Expert done. And then once we get Expert done, we'll have to do it another ten more times, because I think it goes from ten to twenty total. Come on, like twelve-year-old. Like, their avatar's got a really small head, really small neck, that makes them look like a 12-year-old. Thank you, that's mine. Whoo! get out of here. I have no support, so two all rounders, which are the purple, two attackers, which are the reddish, orange, and a speedster. We have Hoopa, the yellowish color is our support, the green defender Blastoise, two attackers. Okay, well, our, our team's pretty well rounded. I actually. I would say that this would be a fucking like meta, meta team. Um, Squirtle? Um, no, sir? I'm gonna set up to go bottom. I like I like running the bot lane better. I feel like Squirtle and the Bulbasaur will be able to handle themselves top. Yeah, I really don't like the joystick for this uh the Joy Cons that much. Oh, 
whatever. Uh, take the right side one again. I have no fear, your jungler is here. Jungler's gonna score. We're gonna get freebies. No, no, we're not gonna get the freebies. Because Hoopa's being invaded over here by Absol. Now we're gonna get the bees. Alright, you're on your own, bud. Sorry. Back to doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Jump up here to the middle. We're gonna grab these. Little core fish here. That's at least one kill now. Seven twenty bees. A little early on the uh, Unite move, but if I get, it's just casuals. I'm like not really worried about it. We'll take that kill as well. Grab my little uh, berry. Roll my aspect down here. Our team gained all the shields, so that's all that matters. I'm gonna. Our War Turtle's losing top lane, it looks like. Sucks for him. Since we're losing top lane, I get an extra core fish just on. Nice. Which is good because that one's gone. Now the uh, Blastoise is back in top lane. Or uh, not Blastoise, the um, Bulbasaur. Ivasaur. I'll dunk yours. That's a huge over dunk. 17. So 33 over. We'll fucking take it. Because it only holds 80, but anything. So if you, you knock it down to 1, and then you have 50 on you, the other 49 will still go through. So you get a nice little over dunk. Oh, don't tell me you just took that. What a dick.
Poop is dead. And not much I can do for him. And I'm doing all that I need to do. So that's all that, all that matters. Doing my part. Play like one or two more of these afterwards. Fuck! I went the went away because I didn't see anybody close on their side, and then they just sneaked two guys down. Our Venus sort of st and the Hoopa decided that they're just gonna go play top lane for a bit. Okay. Uh, Charizard's booking it. Yeah, well. Don't come in these this fucking neighborhood again unless you want to get messed up. Fuck you up. I mean, I've got both buffs. I can't really do anything until the buffs come back. I can't stop that dunk up top. Nobody can because they're all coming down this way. Oh, did I get both of those kills? Because I sure as fuck think I did. Yes, sir! Dude, this game is super fucking laggy right now. I'm not worried about the Dreadnought or the, um... Wrote them because they didn't have enough time before the two minute mark for them to despawn. No fucking way. Hey, I got it still. Eat shit, Venusaur. Try to back cap on our goals. Sixteen kills. What the fuck, boys? We'll take it. Like I said, we're not in it for wins. We're just in it for our fucking challenges. This hoop is getting shit on. There we go, Blastoise is here. Nicely done, nicely done. Just in case anyone was coming from this direction, I figured I'd stop and check. No one's coming. We'll grab some of these pills up. Oh, that's dangerous. Uh. Hmm. You killed me. Pretty sure I'm the only one on my team that knows what the fuck's going on. Ah, uh, see. Oh yeah, cool. You got 191 points done, but I got 16 kills, two assists, and I dealt 75,000 damage and didn't t hardly take any. You guys are fucking getting clapped on. 74, 61, 61, 54. You guys got destroyed. I'm out here just murdering people. I'm keeping them off the field so you can score. I should be the MVP there. It's game. That's why I don't take any account to fucking MVPs.
1400 messages, fuck that, I don't wanna read all that. What my teammates say here? Teammate said, man, we got another week of Silverstone, and uh, also, gotta get some Laguna to take a practice. And I, yep, seven, okay. I completely agree. We do need to get some practice for Laguna Seca. But my main focus is going to be Silverstone, because that's next week. Like, it's nice knowing all the tracks in advance, but... Also, you gotta take into account of which of the uh, tracks you're racing that week. And so we got Silverstone, then week five is Laguna. We got, I think, Paul Ricard. Then we got um, week six is. I think Paul Ricard. Week 7 is Hungaro Ring, and then week 8 is Bathurst. Or maybe Paul Ricard and Hungaro Ring are switched. I don't remember. Either way, bleh, to Bathurst and Hungary in the rain. Maybe, maybe, because the last time they ran, uh, the last time Hungaro Ring was on a schedule for me, that was with Sim, Sim 604. And, uh, they also raced it in the rain, and I didn't race that race because I didn't like Hungary at all, and I knew I was going to get smacked, because it's just how that series went, so I skipped it, which I think that was the... F so yeah, I did race 10 with them, because I raced um, 5 in the first se season, because I skipped to Hung Hungary, and then I raced 5 in the second season, because I skipped uh, Spa, because I was like, I was just done with their their toxic bullshit. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's whatever. Oh, excuse me. This might, depending on how long this one runs, where it goes, it might be my last one. Which means we will more than likely not uh, post this one on YouTube since it didn't actually happen that it we raced. You know what, this time we're gonna do the opposite of what we did. Last time we did, uh. We got T Boss and Melodic back to back almost. Last time we set up for, um. Bot lane, this time we're gonna set for top. Kinda of pushing on him. Nice. Oh fuck. Nicely done. Somebody already left the game. It's literally a minute in. 
Why are people already leaving? Makes no sense. Yeah, it's definitely the Bulbasaur that left. Because I see him uh, following the Decidueye now. Oh no, maybe he's not following the Decidueye. What is he following? Oh, he's not following anybody. He's just literally just fucking not playing. God damn it. I'm gonna eat. Get out of here. At 60. It's a 20 over dunk. We'll take it. And we crush top lane. Like, dude, we're just we're just smacking right now. Yeah, low, low master is just this fucking vet ultra area, like, all over again. It's just insane how bad that is. Hey, y'all better back the fuck up. Why is, why am I getting, like, frame skips? Anyone seeing that? My dude will be here, and then all of a sudden he'll be like 10, 10 feet in front of it, or 10 feet or wherever. You better back the fuck up. So this should be spawning. Well, we might as well just fucking get this while we're up here. Oh, they already got the... Dreadnought. I don't know if they're pushing towards Sword Base. Doesn't seem like it. Nothing's gotten into the vision of it yet. It's fine. No, they decided to backtrack to the Rotom push, so we didn't get the push on the Rotom. That's fine, that's smart for them. You don't want to lose that uh, second base before the two minute mark. Because if we do get another Rotom and we win it, we can push it straight to their home base and then they're really in trouble. 
Appreciate it. Thank you. That's mine. Their talent flame is really awful. I got another 9k on here. These bees are going on. Just kind of looking. And Cinderace, that's why I didn't push. Because I knew there would be people there. I'm not stupid. I know how this game works. I know when sh where people are going to sit. It doesn't take fucking rocket science to know that they just died recently. They're going to spawn right back over there by their base and they're going to hang out by their base. I think we pushed that one. Talon flame is right here in the middle somewhere. Oh, for thirty seconds because I got ten kills. Well, that means we're not we're not a part of this uh, Zapdos fight. There goes Cinderace out for twenty. Blastoise taking taking the fight to him. There's three of them right there. Only the Talonflame's in the middle. Nope, no Absol's in the middle. It's half. We have to be fucking quick about it if we want to get in here on it. Oh, we saw most of them. I don't really care. I'm I'm not in it for wins for this. Oh fuck! I didn't mean to do that. I don't want to. I don't want to fight him on the base. Uh, I'm just, I'm just fucking trapped at that point. doesn't help that either Decidueye or Venusaur didn't uh, back down and then the other ones are just bad. What, Tobias? I see you coming this way. What do you want? Well then, get your medicine and if you haven't had it, go to bed. That's all I can tell you. I'm not going to get close to anybody. That game was probably lost because of the fact that the uh, Bulbasaur or Decidueye, I don't know which one it was that quit, but one of them quit. I'm, as, I'm assuming it's the Bulbasaur as long as he sat still. I mean, look at that. We were winning to the Zapdos fight, and they got flipped. Let's see. If we report them, we're just idling. Uh, we're just going to say quit playing. Does he automatically lose points? Yeah, it was Bulbasaur. Yeah. None of us really dunked a lot, but I got 10 kills. Another 50k damage game where I didn't take a lot of damage. I'm, I'm playing the assassin to the right thing. I'm playing him. I'm playing him to his his role. I think I play a pretty good fucking. Uh, Greninja. I could not think of his fucking name for a second. What did I get? A oh, 
Oh, that's cool that now I get a notification that they uh, confirmed the person was engaging in problematic conduct. This player will be 10, 10 points for their fair play points. Thank you for improving the experience. So that's a good that now we get a notification about it that the reports are doing something. So in this game, it seems like actually reporting people makes a difference. Whereas in like Rocket League, it doesn't fucking matter unless they're saying something that's um like a racial thing. Yeah, we only got two. If they're not saying a ra racial slur at somebody or being a complete asshole, it doesn't matter. So that's good to know that this game, they're like, yeah, you know, they they did kind of fuck you by not lying, like by leaving early. So, yeah. Um, kind of like the, uh, the, uh, I guess I'll rock the Venusaur one again. Um, Tobias, it's bedtime. You need to go to bed. Both of you guys are sleeping in your own room tonight. I don't, I don't, I don't care. It's not my fault that the TV in your room is broken. You, you have to, you guys have to deal with that. I'm trying to see if I can find someone that's got a, a small TV that I can borrow for a bit until I can afford another one. But for now, it's tough. Tell Michael to quit trying to come up with uh, cutesy ideas. Alright, well, we played three or, three or four games there. And got two more on the challenge. Um, I'm gonna boot up Twitch and see if anybody I'm following is still streaming. Maybe we shoot somebody a bit of a. Right, oh, we can shoot at a. Oh, a good neighbor. He's streaming tonight. This is a must -have Tar Tarkov, uh, Tarkov wipe is. Uh. Tarkov wiped and reset today, so. Um. He's he's starting the grind for this season. Um, yeah, I guess with that I will just uh, take you to the leaving stream. Stream is endings. Uh, I will not be streaming tomorrow. Uh, catch you guys next time.